Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. In this session, I like to discuss about assignment method. The assignment method is an approach to the allocation of resources from personal to equipment, such as machines, workers, that will result in the most optimal distribution and utilization of those resources. The assignment method has various applications in maximizing resources, including assigning jobs to machines, assigning contracts to bidders, and assigning agent to tasks. The distinguishing feature of assignment problem is that one agent is assigned to one and only one task. For example, if we have three workers A, B, and C, and three jobs, job one, two, and three, then A is assigned to job number one. Workers B can assign to job number two, and the worker C can assign to job number three. So that will be a possible assignment for this. And we assume that the number of workers is equal with the number of jobs, and we categorize this as a balance problem. So in solving the assignment problem, we are looking for a set of pairings. For example, worker to jobs, which optimize a stated objective, such as minimizing the total cost, distance, or time. To illustrate the assignment problem, consider the following example. A manager has three jobs, R34, S66, and T50, which are to be assigned to three tracks such as A, B, and C. The alternative and the estimated cost are given in the table below. So, example, if the job R34 given to tab set A, the cost will be $11. If job R34 given to tab set B, the cost will be $14. And if job R34 given to C, the cost will be $6. The manager wish to minimize the total cost required to complete all the three jobs and how should the allocation of jobs to tap sector be made to solve these problems we can use the assignment method so in assignment method we have four steps uh, i described briefly and we will look at this four step in detail in our example so in first we create the zero opportunity cost yeah. The second step, we draw the minimum number of vertical and horizontal lines. If optimum, we move to step number four. If not optimum, we move to step number three. In step number three, we subtract the smallest number not covered by a line from all other uncovered numbers. And we return to step number two. Again, we have to draw the minimum number of vertical and horizontal line. And if optimum, and we move to step number four and optimal assignment are at a zero location in the tables okay. so we go back to the example just now okay so we have three jobs that can be assigned to three type setter so step number one we create the zero opportunity cost yeah we create the zero opportunity cost so we start with the rows yeah so in the first row here, yeah, we find the smallest number. So between $11, $14, and $6, the 6 is the minimum number. So 11 minus 6, 5. 14 minus 6, 8. And 6 minus 6, 0. That was the first row. The second row, yeah, again, between 8, 10, and 11. The minimum number is 8, so 8 minus 8, 0, 10 minus 8, 2, 11 minus 8, 3. And the third row, so 7 is the minimum number, so 9 minus 7, 2, 12 minus 7, 5, and 7 minus 7, 0. So we have done with the uh, row reduction. And then the next is we move to the column reductions. So the first column, 
yeah, because they are already zero here. So we move to the second column. Yeah. So between eight, two, and five, so two is the smallest number. So eight minus two is six. Two minus two zero. Five minus two three. And the third row, sorry, the third column. So it's already zero there. So it it maintain. So what we have done in step number one, we create the zero opportunity caused by first by row and second by column. So we move to the next step, step number two. Yeah. Step number two, we draw the minimum number of vertical and horizontal lines that necessary to cover all the zeros in the table. So we can draw any vertical or horizontal line to cover all the zero. Example one. Two, three. So with this line, cover all the zero. But again, uh, in this step number two, we have to try our best to draw the minimum number of vertical and horizontal line. So in this example, we can cover all the zero with only two line. Yeah, yeah. So all the zero will be covered because only two lines are needed. To cover all the zeros and the number of rows and columns is three so the version is not optimal so if not optimal yeah we go to step number three yeah so step number three yeah we subtract the smallest number not covered by a line from all other uncovered numbers so here yeah, we have five six two and three dollar that not covered by the line so the smallest number is 2 so 5 minus 2 is 3 6 minus 2 4 2 minus 2 0 and 3 minus 2 1 and we add the intersection here yeah, 3 minus 2 5 okay so we move back to step number 2 which is we draw the minimum number of line to cover all the necessary zero. So in here, yeah, here, so because three lines are needed, so the solution is already optimal and assignment can be made. So we move to step number four. So in step number four, the optimal assignment are at zero location in the table. Select one, draw line through the row and column involved and continue the next assignment. So in step number four, yeah, in making the final assignment, you should, if possible, first consider rows and columns that have only one, zero, and three. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, zero. But uh, in first row here, yeah, because there are only one, zero, so we give the priority to the uh, job R34 to uh, subset C. Yeah. So R34 assigned to subset C. Done. So and we left 30 here. Yeah. Because the job R34 have been given to subset C. So for job T50 uh, only. Uh, one zero uh, here, so the job T fifty must go to the worker A. So again, T fifty we assign to step setter A, and the last job S six six, S fifty six will be assigned to step setter B. Okay, step setter B. Okay, so again in optimal assignment, uh, we uh, assigned to the zero value. So from there, yeah, again R three four assigned to C, S six six assigned to B, and T fifty assigned to zero. So from here we can see that this is the original cost. Yeah, six. S six to B is ten, and T fifty to A is nine dollar. So from the original cost table, the total minimum cost is $25. So that's the minimum number of costs for the assignment. So that's all. Thank you.